Oh, I love Home Alone, but is that counted as a Christmas one? I'd say so. Yeah. 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 It's a Christmas. Lock it in. Um, the the Grinch is probably up there for a kids one, and then um, probably the holidays, my other one. Okay. Nice. Be the best two. Rom com, comedy, yeah. covers yeah. all bases. Probably Elf. Oh, I don't really watch too many Christmas movies, to be honest. Okay. Um, I mean, back in the day, it used to be I'll Be Home for Christmas. Because okay. I think um, Jonathan Taylor Thomas was in it, and he was a, he was a favourite of mine growing <laughs> up. Home Alone, and it's not only my favourite Christmas movie; it's just my favourite movie of all time. Probably Elf. It'd probably be back when I was a lot younger, and just the hours, obviously, summer Christmas. You know, spending it out on the barbecue out in the backyard playing cricket with the family, usually not getting a bowl uh, back because my brother or my dad would be hogging it. Um, but those sort of memories are, are really special, um, of being able to spend time with family and, and you know, enjoying each other's company. Um, I wouldn't say one particular. I love Christmas. It's one of my favourite times of year. Uh, me and mum are uh, the two in our family that go all out, and every year she says she's going to downsize in presents, and I say no, so we don't. <laughs> <laughs> so a few years ago, me and my sister got given kayaks for Christmas, and it was Christmas morning, and we went down to the river, and we're kayaking on these canoes, and these dolphins just started jumping over our kayaks. It was the coolest day. Well, our, our tradition in our family um, is on Christmas Day, to make it the biggest day um, ever. So we catch up with um, mum and dad's side of the family, one for lunch and one for dinner. Um, so that's definitely, over the years as the family has grown and grown and grown, it um, can, can be quite loud, as you can imagine. But we always do a Christmas photo in the um, wrapping after you've unwrapped all your presents. That all goes into the middle and all the kids hop in um, the paper for the Christmas shot. So that's always... Um, um, a fond memory of mine, um, but yeah, it always ends up being some backyard cricket and those types of things also mixed in amongst it. But yeah, my, my yeah my greatest memories of just yeah when we just have all the family around lunch and then into tea. So it's just it makes for a big day. So by the time Boxing Day comes around, you sit down to watch the Test match. Yeah, you're definitely a bit tired. Me and my mom made Christmas shots for everyone, and we made them wear them. We just got like. Um, like they stick on the felt reindeers and like little pom poms and you know they weren't like the prettiest Christmas shirts yeah. but they were very Christmassy. Yeah. Love um, it. And the same Christmas, my uncle was there and he worked in a like pub his whole life, so he was making cocktails for us all day and it was just a good day. I, I love Christmas. I just think it's so great. Um, being one of five, like just some of my favourite memories are just. Being in the living room so like so early when we were all really really young, and we all sort of had our own like section of, of the living room. You know, some, someone had the couch, and then someone had over near the TV, and like we all had our stockings and our own little area. And I just remember everyone just going ham and just like unwrapping things, and you literally couldn't walk through the the living room. There was just paper all over the floor. Um, yeah, and when I think of Christmas, that that's sort of what I think of. It's, it's obviously very different now, but. But back in the day, that yeah, that was that's definitely a favourite. No, my mum's a bit of a feeder, so she cooks everything under the sun. So there's usually a bit of everything, but trifle is usually as long as that's on the menu, I'm usually okay. We have a, a big Christmas lunch every year. That um, would normally mum's side and then dad's side's Boxing Day, but mum's one of thirteen, so. There's, there's usually between 30 and 40 people there, um, so it's pretty massive yeah. um, and just a good time and a lot of drinks and a lot of fun. Uh, my mum makes an incredible spinach and ricotta cannelloni and so every Christmas she makes that for me and so I think that is up there with my favourite time of the year. Oh, we always have a hot roast lunch and Christmas pudding. And I know that's very what a lot of families would do, but it's definitely, yeah, ro hot roast lunch. Um, lamb or chicken or yeah, beef or turkey or whatever it ends up being, but yeah, yum. Um, I wouldn't say there's any traditions, um, but we definitely do like to make the cocktails. So okay. it's a time where, yeah, we get a bit experimental with the, the spirits.
the whole thing. We do Christmas lunch and just like, actually this, no, my mum does crumbed cauliflower and it is, uh, it's unreal. It's so good. We just have it with the roast and it, it's one of my favourites. And of recent years, um, my brother's partner, she makes sticky date puddings and oh, they're the goat. They're so good. It's a hard one for me to discuss this because I'm usually on the road so much. So I, you know, don't spend too much time at home. So I'd say if you can get it up a couple of days before Christmas, my biggest concern is when do you take it down? Because once it gets into January, you need to, yeah, you need to sort your Christmas yeah. tree down. Uh, I'm, I'm someone who waits till December. Good. November is too early for I all agree. those watching. I um, agree. Yeah, <laughs> December, any time from 1st of December on and you're in. Currently, I have not done it yet. Um, <laughs> let's say, well, I think people do it as of like when they tick, when December ticks over. Mm -hmm. So I think that the first of the first of December is appropriate. I actually haven't got one up yet. I don't even have one. We've just bought this house. Um, so I'm waiting for my partner to be here because I feel like in the first Christmas, we have to do it together. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, I'm November as early as possible. The Christmas spirit is great. As soon as the weather starts looking nice, mm -hmm. put Christmas tree up. I used to believe that, you know, it's the 1st of December. Mm -hmm. I think whatever you want. Whatever you want. I think, yeah. Yeah, I think in November is definitely acceptable.